Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so hopefully you joined us for our live legal update with Emily D. Baker, but if you didn't get a chance, then definitely go back and check it out because it's one worth watching. We covered Tom Girardi and his competency, though Chris Lee's, and Ariana and Tom. But speaking of Ariana and Tom, we have some more to cover because it looks like the Vanderpump Rules, the Vanderverse, it just doesn't stop, especially ahead of the premiere, which I can't wait to go to with Emily literally next week. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, let's jump right in. All right, guys. So I don't know if you've checked it out yet, but if you haven't checked it out, one, we're doing a giveaway for everybody who goes over to our podcast on Up and Adam, Up and Adam podcast, anywhere you get your podcast, you leave a five star review and tell us what you love. We are giving you a free blue meat. But if you don't want to wait, then all you have to do is click on the link that's pinned in the comments or in the description. This little guy is worth $150, but with my link, you get $70 off. And the best part is, with the click of a button, you just turn it on and gently, and there's different settings. Roll it up and down your face. It lifts, illuminates, rejuvenates, and takes out the inflammation, which is the best part. Actually, it's not the best part. The best part is, is if you don't absolutely love the product, then they give you 100% of your money back guaranteed. Now, with that, we got to talk about this. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but um, Apparently, according to Page Six, Lisa Vanderpump and her husband, Ken Todd, are being sued again, but this time for wrongful termination by TomTom Tom bartenders. I was looking because you guys know that I worked at TomTom. Tom. I opened TomTom Tom with everybody, and I was like, which TomTom Tom bartenders are they talking about? And I couldn't find a name, so I just got to get, like, Emily or Dana Wilkie or somebody. I mean, I don't know. Anybody who looks into these things... The thing is, is like, I feel bad asking people to look. There's like 10 people that I feel like I can ask, but I don't want to. I'll just ask the people at TomTom. Tom. Okay, back to it. So Lisa Vanderpump and her husband, Ken Todd, are being sued for wrongful termination by former bartenders of TomTom Tom Restaurant and Bar. And this is obviously one of their establishments in West Hollywood, California. That's not. But moving on. I wanted to kind of go on and say, according to documents obtained by The Blast on Thursday, the employees who worked for that couple from May to December of 2022, was I there? Um, let me think. No, I wasn't. Claimed that they were terminated in retaliation for complaining about unsavory working conditions. One former employee further claims that Lisa Vanderpump and Ken whose Los Angeles restaurant portfolio also includes Sir and Pump, blacklisted him by defaming him to future employers. Oh, okay. The thing is, too, let me just say, I have a hard time believing, I really do, that Ken and Lisa are going to go around to other employers and, like, try to not let this person get a job. If you use them as a reference and they fired you, that's obviously not a good reference. But if you didn't use them as a reference and they got wind that you were trying to get a job somewhere else and they made sure that you didn't, that's a little bit different. So I'm trying to understand the context of this. But wait, this individual alleges that the pair mm, published false statements and comments to numerous third parties regarding his profession, reputation, and character. Now, the ex-employee feels that the rumors and false statements that were made were made with actual malice. That's per the documents. The workers claim that TomTom Tom had unsafe work conditions and that there was sewage and backup in the employee break locker room. No comment. No comment. But moving on, the lawsuit also elaborates during this period, the former bartenders experienced 
rampant violations of California labor laws, harassment, and unsafe working conditions. Now, reps for Lisa Vanderpump and Ken did not obviously immediately respond to page six request for comment. Usually people don't. Tom Tom, which is featured heavily on Vanderpump Rules, is co-owned by Tom Sandoval and Tom Shorts. I believe they both own a whopping 2%, but they were not named in the lawsuit. So reps for Vanderpump and Todd, Ken, also did not talk about that. Now, news of the legal filing comes just weeks before the season 11 premiere, and that's going to be the first season since scan of all of it all. And I'm curious how that's going to go, but this seems like it's going to be... So I'll have more intel like next week. I'm going to the premiere. I think it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. I'm going to the premiere with Emily and a few other friends. Um, I'll see like Ryan Bailey, Kiki from the Talk of Shame, a bunch of people. So I think that it's going to be a lot of fun and it'll be fun to see the actual episode. The thing is, is like even when you go to these premieres, nobody's actually watching the episode. Everybody's walking around, talking, mingling. It's not like shh, shh, like you're in a movie theater. So you never actually watch the. When I went to the House of Villains premiere, nobody watched the episode. For this, nobody's probably going to watch the episode. I mean, some people might watch the episode, but... And then there's really no point of watching the episode before the actual episode comes out, because if we come up and talk about the episode before it comes out, then it just like makes it dumb because you guys haven't even seen the episode. So what's the point? I'm just going to mingle. Or maybe I'll watch the episode. I don't know. Speaking of which, since we're talking about Vanderpump Rules, Ariana Maddox is slamming completely useless Tom Shorts ahead of the Vanderpump Rules premiere. So she shared her unfiltered opinion about Tom Shorts. Um... Yeah, she called him completely useless when she was asked to rank a series of her co-stars that she'd like to rough it with on a deserted island. She said, I mean, there's one that I don't want to be stuck with at all. Mm. This was on Cosmopolitan's Cheap Shots video series. She later revealed that the individual in question was the best friend of her ex, Tom Sandoval. Tom Shorts, I don't want there at all. Completely useless, no thanks. Now, Ariana, however, would happily rely on a bevy of her female co-stars, former and current, starting with Kristen Doty. Hmm, that's an interesting choice. She said, okay, I think number one would be Kristen because I feel like we would both be so set on making a plan and figuring this out. So I feel like she would be a good person to have first. She also gave props to Sheena because she said, Sheena, Always has a positive attitude that might help them survive the dangers of living in seclusion. And then after that, well, she said second, I would say Sheena because I feel as though she would be trying to look on the bright side. And I feel that would be really nice as well to have when we're probably going to die, right? Then she also noted Lala Kemp would be a nice companion, but only for eye candy. She said, and then Lala, first of all, if she could just walk around naked, that would be great. But Though Ariana is uninterested in spending time with Tom Schwartz, he has said he hopes to reestablish a friendship in the future. And I'm here to say that's probably not going to happen. I don't see that happening. But good luck, Tom Schwartz. Good luck. She's not going to take you back. You lied to her. You hit an affair. She hates you. Now, though, obviously she is um, uninterested. She explain sort of how she distanced herself from Tom Shorts after the whole affair. And he even said, she'll give me a nod and say hi, but I think our friendship is going to take work. I got a five-year plan. Five years from now, I want to be BFFs again. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I doubt that. Because she also said, while promoting her upcoming gig as Roxy Hart in Chicago, she said, this year, it's just all about a blank slate. I mean, I honestly feel like I haven't even really had a second to stop. I just think that this year is one, I don't even know how to look ahead. We'll look ahead, baby, because we're going to the top. And I'll see you next week. Anyways, guys, go ahead and comment below. And definitely, if you're interested in checking out Blue Mean, you can either enter our giveaway by going to our podcast, anywhere you get the podcast, drop a five-star review. You can check it out in the community tab. Drop a five-star review and tell us what you love about what you're listening to. Or if you just want to buy it, the link is in the description and also in the comment section. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, smash that like button. Get subscribed. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys.